What's up, guys? What's up, Sussex Squad? Y'all, this has been such a busy royal day. If you guys don't know, I made a video about Kate's parents winning titles. I made a video about that little, what looked like to me, a child custody handoff in the pub. I also made a video about what is going on with William, but baby, go check out those videos, okay? It's under the royal playlist, but forget all that, baby. We need to talk about these new bombshells going down. Do you know? that the BBC has refused to actually say whether Kate's video was AI generated. I think right now we've pretty much uh, figured out that yes, it most probably was. Chris Boozy on Twitter drops receipts and evidence that basically everything the media has showed us from the royal side is all smoke and mirrors, right? Interestingly enough, they're also pushing this really weird narrative about Harry's they're acting like Harry's the long lost love of Kate and that's why they fell apart. On top of that, William, because he can never read the room, has announced that he's not going to be doing any work moving forward. Baby, he's not even doing public engagements anymore. He's going to do Zooms. Listen, all hell to King William, who will bring down the downfall of the monarchy. And baby, we love to see it. All right, let's get into this, okay? Because they are really acting up. This is from Unity News Net on Twitter. They say, BBC refuses to respond to the freedom of information request as to whether AI deepfake technology has been used in the Kate Middleton video. They said the information that relates to the BBC's output or information that supports and is closely associated with these creative activities is considered to be held by the BBC for the purposes of art and journalism or literature. Since information held by the BBC and other public service broadcasters falls outside the scope of the FOI Act, Freedom of Information Act. It's important that the BBC is an independent and impartial news organization, to which I said what they said. Why couldn't they just simply reply with a no and put the speculation to rest, right? They are refusing to answer. And like Carm said on Twitter, that is our answer, right? This is crazy. Again, it's pretty much been confirmed by numerous people on TikTok. And these are experts. I know what you're saying, TikTok, where they roll it back and show each frame. This is AI generated. There's a second row of teeth. Her fingers mesh in. Her body doesn't look the same. She said this part of her face doesn't move. It's a green screen in the background. Um, but then they have a random bug buzzing. But that means it was taped indoors with a bug buzzing. If you guys not have seen Sora, Go just put in Sora, S-O-R-A, demo to see how much virtual reality can do. It looks like it is not real to me. But um, like Joanna said, where is Catherine? It's not funny anymore. If there was, if this was were anyone else, please would have raided the cottage by now, okay? Now, that's bad enough. And it just, again, it's an issue. But they're also pushing this weird, weird narrative that Harry is being made out to be the, the, the long lost love of Kate. Um, there's all these news articles. Let me read them saying, Prince Harry always felt a special someone, but then Meg got in the middle uh, of it. Uh, Prince Harry was always secretly in love with Kate. It's giving really just weird vibes. And the fact that they are trying to push it, it's just weird. Like Henry VIII on Twitter said, okay, I'm going to need someone in the mainstream British press to point out how effing weird this is. Uh, this is directly related to the headline, Losing Kate was Prince Harry's second great loss after losing his mother. Harry wrote a whole book about the way that Kate and William were not as close as the media made it seem to him. He was not, uh, he was not made, he did not know they were getting engaged. William always was trying to get Harry to go away. Yes, Harry was nice to Kate and they had a bit of a friendship, but when it came to Kate allegedly racially bullying his wife, that all laid to rest. Not only that, how are you trying to say that a man has more love for his brother's wife than he does for his own wife and his own kids? Again, it's just all very odd. Again, this whole thing with Kate Gate has gotten extra insane where now they're trying to float a narrative to the royals that hate the, the royal watchers that hate the Sussex that Harry was slavishly in love with Kate. Is that why he left and never looked back? Like, it's just weird. Your brothers, um, 
listen, there, I, I just don't, I, I don't know what's going on with this. I want to say that Duchess of Alopecia, a uh, royal raider on Twitter says, why is Prince Harry being made out to be some long lost lover's Kate instead of any discussion that William hasn't said a single word about his own wife's diagnosis? I believe he hasn't said a word because he knows that this is going to come back to haunt him. Um, uh, so then Caroline said, I haven't read the article, but from the title, assumed it's talking about the friendship he had with Catherine, describing her as a sister he never had. There are countless fo countless photos of William, Harry, and Catherine all together genuinely happy. Um, Duchess said, if you read the article, it's a royal expert claiming this, someone who doesn't have any access to Harry and Meghan and never spoke to him in the life. He said, Harry also doesn't have any uh, thing to discuss for her diagnosis. He hasn't said anything publicly at all. The point is Harry is being talked about with Kate, but no, one's, no one is questioning why William, her own husband, isn't being talked about at all. This is weird. Let's also not forget that there were a million articles saying Kate doesn't want to meet with Harry. She'll never forgive Harry. They don't want the kids playing with Harry's kids. Harry will never be wa welcomed back. Kate was the main one that questioned Harry's kids. If there was even a genuine friendship, I think that genuine friendship is over. Again, why am I bringing this up? Because it's just weird. These narratives that are being pushed. Also, we don't talk about William and uh, his kid. Now, one thing I do want to say is uh, William, right, has just announced that he is not, no longer going to be a traditional working royal, okay? Prince William plans to return to duties as a working from home royal. Benji Canal Parody says uh, on Twitter, Honestly, they should just give up at this point. The whole point of the royal family, if there is one, is being seen. They are show ponies. So working from home makes no sense at all. It wouldn't make the slightest difference if they just stopped working altogether. Because what do they do that's so important and vital? Charities continue to function and do good work without a 45-minute visit from the member of the royal family. Kate hasn't worked in almost three months, going on four, and society hasn't crumbled. If anything, this whole situation has just reinforced how um, uh, useless the royals are. Now, Queen Capricorn on Twitter said, honestly, and I think she gets it on the nose, I really think William, maybe Kate, might be too, might be. Uh, jealous of the freedom and lifestyle Harry and Meghan have. I believe that William wants Harry's life. I'm pretty, and I mean the freedom. I'm pretty sure that the royal life is not all that's cracked up to be. I mean, they have money, but no joy, no freedom, only duty. William may just be tired of it. Again, I think it's great because the more they are missing, right? The more they go missing, the more it shows just how pointless they actually are. A few other people on Twitter, Lisa B on Twitter, actually commented, and I think this is very important. They said, what the hell is a work from royal home? I thought the whole point of these people was just cutting ribbons and whatnot. So this dude just wants to do nothing while continuing to collect taxpayer money. Y'all should really abol abolish that monarchy. This is in direct... Um, uh, Reply to the Daily Beast article, Prince William will combine digital appearances and in-person engagements to maximize impact and what sources tell the Daily Mail are a template in a dry run for his future reign. Um, I Listen, <laughs> Laura B. Uh, on uh, Twitter says, how long before he's charging? This is the bad seat on Twitter said, how long before he's charging for cameos and then gets an OnlyFans account? You know, Um I, I think the issue with all this is, is it looks like to me, William wants to abolish the monarchy. This Let's also not forget that William also says he's no longer going to have hundreds of charities. He's only going to have a handful, maybe four or five charities that he can really concentrate on. They've already said that they're moving behind the scenes to do impact work instead of being show ponies. And then on top of that, now you're not even going to show up. You're going to show up on Zooms just like Harry did. William can't help but care, um, 
but uh, uh, copy Harry. Remember with the Diana Memorial, William thought he was doing something to my Harry's not allowed. I'm going to be the one front and center. And he saw the way the whole world was talking about Harry waving and showing up on Zoom. That's what William wants to do. The only thing is, maybe William does realize, but you're making yourself a dinosaur. You're making yourself no one. You're making yourself disposable. Why would you ever truly want to agree to this? You're basically saying you want to do nothing, but you want all the benefits of being royal. And when you're talking about a handful of charities that you care about, what do you care about? Film premieres, BAFTA, sometimes? What? And the thing is, you don't even donate any money you make to these charities. You don't even start cookbooks like Megan did. You literally bring nothing to the table except being a show pony. And now you're saying that that is all too much for you, right? They said one thing that seems certain when talking to friends and advisors of William, this is from the Daily Beast article, most recently and over the past few years is that he has no intention of emulating his grandmother's model of doing several hundred engagements a year and being patron of hundreds and hundreds of charities. Instead, the goal will be to represent less causes. He said like a handful back then, four or five, but having more impact used to use the favorite term. So basically in your reign, the only charities that will get help if you can even agree that they help are charities that you resonate with you so what about all the poor other not poor but people that are in need but they said but be in no doubt if the last few weeks have shown anything is that the the needs of kate and the kids will always for william trump the demands of state and charitable organizations but then they go on to say Kate is doing well, her team says, but if a conflict arises, William will likely have little hesitation in canceling royal engagements to focus on the family. Y'all, uh, they said it is interesting about the next few months. What's interesting about the next few months is that William is being forced into a dry run to be king. Listen, if this is William's dry run, he is shown to be an absolute mess. Lying, scheming. This brings me to my point before we go. And I want to hear what you guys have to say. Everybody's so focused on whether those are the real Kate in the Windsor Forms videos. It's obviously at least mine, including to face analysis. And I agree with Chris Boozy. These are not actual, that's not Kate. But the real question we need to worry about is, was that a real William? Because like I said, a fake William and a fake Kate in the Windsor Farms video, that was just a stupid paparazzi shot. But a real William and a fake Kate, baby, that's a conspiracy. And that's what we really need to be talking about, right? Um, again, we'll see what we, what it actually turns out to be. But I do think that William will bring about the fall of the monarchy. And at the end of the day, isn't that all we can hope for? Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.